well, let me show you some goodness in here. Yeah, and there's a deer right in front of us. Yeah. Grand is grand. It's very big. You can do augmented reality in Google Maps. Like she said, I don't know if you heard that. She said, meet, meet, meet. This resort has incredible Wi-Fi. So I'll give you a little tip. Don't pay the $99. So if you find the groundskeepers here, they'll give you a coconut and uh, they'll chop it up with that little machete right there. And I'm actually gonna go snorkeling and see some fish and sea turtles and rays. So we're here in Cancun, Mexico. sleeping and then this is where we're gonna be sleeping yes. look at our washroom doesn't have a door I'm kidding I'm kidding it's a water closet nice okay go ahead what's in there well let me show you some goodness in here That's all you for you. Yeah. Alcoholic. There's coronas. And corona. So we are here in Mexico City. No, not Mexico City. What are you doing? I'm walking. <laughs> so we're here in Cancun, Mexico. We're not in Mexico City, by the So we're here in Mexico. You almost made me say city again. So we're in here. <laughs> Put that in the bloopers. So we're here in Cancun, Mexico for seven days enjoying the sun, the beach, and all the resort festivities and stuff like that. Once again, I know a lot of people say, you know, Outdoor Canucks is supposed to be camping and stuff like that, and it is, for the most part it is, but we take holidays every now and then, and the main thing is we get outdoors. Like I've always said, just get outdoors. We happen to be outdoor right now, outdoors right now, and enjoy yourself. resort that we're at is called Moon Palace. It's part of the palace uh, chain of different resorts all around the world. This one's in Cancun and it's called the Moon Palace and uh, actually technically we're not at the Moon Palace. This is actually three resorts here and there's 
Loon Palace, which is down there. That's the big, biggest one, the newest one. And then these two other sister resorts right next to it, uh, there is Sunrise and this one that we're at called Nazook. And uh, we've been to the Moon Palace years ago and uh, we figured it's it's nice, it's beautiful, it's almost too big. So we decided we'd try the one of the smaller ones uh, and we've been here so far a day and it's perfect. We don't need the big one. Uh, we don't need to take golf carts all over the place from your room to, you know, actually go get dinner at the buffet in the, in the lobby or something. This way, we can walk everywhere and it's a lot better to be walking. Like uh, this guy here, walking in, in behind my shop. <laughs> You need to say one more time if you know where to start. People around the pool and outside and inside the pool, we say one, two, two and a half. Wow. So, Quentin was just saying that there's so many uh, animals here, eh? Yeah, we, we, what did we see last night when we first got here? Saw a cat. Cat. And then we just saw that iguana there. Oh, uh, the birds and... The birds. Is, there's probably raccoons at night. Yeah, sometimes we see raccoons. In, uh, and last time we were here, we saw raccoons. Yep. So, they usually come out at night. But the wildlife here is pretty, pretty cool. Like she said, I don't know if you heard that. She said, meat, meat, meat. Uh, in case you didn't know, we're at the Brazilian restaurant where they just bring, I'll show you, skewers and skewers of meat. Uh, we were here, we were here four years ago when we came. And uh, if you didn't see that, I'll show you a quick little video of that. It doesn't stop, it just keeps coming and coming and coming. Look at this. This is Brazilian steak at its finest. I'll say, if you come to Moon Palace, you've got to try the Brazilian restaurant. It's really, really cool. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're doing some kind of dance. Some weird dance. Oh, it's a TikTok dance. So the good thing with these resorts is after uh, dinner, whether you go to a la carte or a buffet or anything, you can come and there's like, you can walk around. Like, I mean, it's a little breezy here, but you can go down to the beach, walk around. It's very, very safe. There's security and stuff like that. Or you can even just, there's a show. Like this resort happens to have a show outside or a stage outside. And, if the weather is good like it is tonight, you can just come to the show. And we checked out the show, it's about 45 minutes an hour. Every night there's a different show and they cycle through about seven shows a week. Uh, so you're here for a week, you'll always catch one new show. That's if you're into that. If, if not, you can go back to your hotel room or your uh, uh, room or whatever and then uh, retire for the night if you're one of those early bird people. And then wake up bright and early in the morning and <laughs> do it all over again for those seven or 10 or 14 days. Okay, I know we haven't been here a whole full week or even half a week or even two days. We've been here literally literally 24 hours. So in 24 hours, <coughs> someone's dying over there. You okay? You okay over there? Yes. Okay, so in 24 hours, initial reaction, what's your favorite thing so far in the first 24 hours? The view from our room and the pool. Okay. <laughs> you no, know, that's fine. That's your honest answer. Right. Yeah, no, I put you on a spot. I put you on a spot, so that's your honest answer.
So you had, what'd you have for breakfast? Uh, three waffles, watermelon, and a cereal. You were hungry? I woke up starving. So show us your earplugs, Abby. I mean, show us your nose plugs, Abby. They came with your snorkel. Yeah, head. they're in this little case. <laughs> uh, oh, that's what it is. Those are earplugs. Yeah, we've established this already. I've always, whenever I travel, I always make it a point of before I get on the bus or before I go somewhere where I'm going to be separated from my luggage. I always make sure, especially like on a bus from the airport or when you're going to the airport, always make sure your luggage always goes on the bus or whatever form of transportation you're, you're doing. Obviously, you can't do it with an airplane, but always make sure it gets on there. And a lot of times the bus drivers say, oh, go have a seat on the bus. No, I'm going to sit there, make sure all my luggage gets on there, make sure even the, the door closes on the compartment, the luggage compartment, and then I'll get on the bus. The other big thing, too, is make sure... Whenever you go, go with an air tag. Put some kind of tracker or air tag in your luggage. It'll make the world a difference. So we're playing ping pong here and you have to sign for the ball, like you give your room number and everything and the ball got damaged so I don't know if they're going to charge us for the ball. I don't know, let's go to the counter and find out. good thing about uh, resorts is that they offer wedding packages here. You can get married here and uh, you can actually get your wedding done here. The bad thing is if you're a resident or someone on vacation and you're not part of the wedding, this is what's going to happen. You're going to hear this all night long. It's one of the good things about the Palace Resorts is you can go to any of their other resorts that are nearby, uh, the other hotels. So we're at New Zoo, but we can go to the Grand, and the Grand is completely different. I mean, it's different in terms of it's bigger, it's got more things to do. I'm not doing a video about the Grand, but if you want to see that, check out my video from about four years ago. You can go check it out. I'll put a link right here. here. So there's shuttle buses like we're on right now, and there's golf carts that go every like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, this was one of the, like I said, the, you, you usually have to pay extra. <laughs> uh, $99 US for adults and I think uh, 70 for kids. But So I'll give you a little tip. Don't pay the $99. Like I mean for a family of four with kids, it comes over $300. I'll give you a little tip. The tip is go to the presentation. Now I know some people may not want to an hour and a half, two hours out of their uh, of week to go to a presentation when you're not, you're not going to sign up for a membership. But the membership presentation, it's an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45. And what it'll do is it'll give you free passes to come here. It's nothing for them, but it costs you $300 plus. So if you look at $300 plus uh, are divided by one and a half hours, you're looking at $200 an hour. To me, it's worth it. Uh, for us, they gave us three free days to come here. So it's actually even more expensive, it's well well over you know, $900, $600, however you want to look at it. So it's worth it. Don't pay it for it. Go to the presentation, whether you sign up or not. You, you may like it, you may sign up, but if you don't, you get free passes to come here, and that's the best way to do it.
class on a Facebook group I follow, which is very helpful. About about they want to help to determine which resort to go to because there is the Grand Nazuk Sunrise. So I gave them my opinion because I'm here right now. Grand is grand. It's very big. It takes a bit more time and patience to navigate, but it's beautiful. You have many options, many things to do, many things to see, but you need time and patience to get around. Nazuk is smaller. It's the smallest of the three. Quieter, uh, easy to navigate. Everything's pretty close to get around and get to. And then you have Sunrise. Sunrise is the oldest of the three. Still beautiful. It is a bit busier, um, noisier in my opinion, but it depends on your preference, what you're looking for. I feel Sunrise is more spring break style. That's just my opinion. Maybe that's your preference. If you're looking for the busy, upbeat, party kind of scene, Sunrise is your jam. So here's the thing with the resort credits. I think like a lot of places now give you resort credits when you come on these um, all-inclusive packages or vacations and stuff like that. And you can use them, they're pretty good, but sometimes you can't use them for certain things. There's a lot of restrictions and small print and stuff like that and fine print. So I suggest you read it all over because there's a lot of things that it includes, but then there's some things that it doesn't include. Uh, and they try to sell to you. And, and keep in mind here at this resort, they have the resort credits, but there's a tax. There's a 16% tax that you pay. So if you use, say you use $10 worth of resort credits, you have to pay $1.60 in tax. And that's US, by the way, whatever the, the tax is, it's in US dollars. So there is actual amount out of pocket that you have to pay for. You know, they the upsell and they try to sell you on the actual becoming a member. It's not really timeshare. I know a lot of uh, places back in the 90s and eight, maybe even the 80s, maybe even before that, they had timeshares for a lot of these places. This isn't a timeshare. Some people may think it's the same thing as a timeshare, but you can come and go as you please. You don't, you don't have like blocks throughout the year that you are only entitled to and stuff like that. It's basically a membership. Now, I know a lot of resorts do this too now. They try to sell you on a membership and they'll uh, sit you down or they'll try to make an appointment for like an hour, hour and a half. And they'll go through the whole sales pitch and they'll try, try to sell you on it. And in order to lure you into these uh, appointments, because they could be lengthy at times, they don't want you to take away from your vacation. They try to give you different things like incentives, like more credits or I don't know, just, just different things that try to you know attract you into the meeting so they can sit you down and get your undivided attention for an hour, hour and a half, and then they try to sell you on it. I'll leave that up to you whether you want to do that or not. It's uh, hit or miss. You can do it, and uh, you may like the membership at the end of it and sign up. I would advise you if you do, don't take the first offer because <laughs> they'll always keep going down. Uh, but if you don't, then you could just be here for your whole seven days or two weeks or however long you're here and uh, not do the presentation. How is it? It's actually good, but... Would like... Would like octopus? Okay, we are going kayaking. We're gonna give it a try. So we got up close to the uh, markers. And as you can see, they're not markers, they're, they're like they're like barriers that hold back the seaweed. If you look on the other side, you can see they're holding back the seaweed. Try again. Okay. I stabbed the coconut and now it's leaking juice. Put your mouth under and get, get juice. I'm kidding, it'll be all sticky.
So you can't come to Mexico and not try the Mexican food. Being a, you know, a Mexican restaurant. We tried the Brazilian yesterday. Before that, we were at the buffet and stuff, and that was good. But this is authentic Mexican food. Spicy, but Mexican. So you guys are trying the uh, spicy sauce? And how? How is it? This is really good. This is like a it's garlic, garlic guacamole thing. We spilled it. The other good thing with this resort is the whole entire resort is all mapped out here. Like you can get anywhere you want. If you don't want to use the golf carts, you can do augmented reality in Google Maps. So today we're doing something a little bit different than just sitting by the pool and uh, going to the beach. We're actually gonna go snorkeling and see some fish and sea turtles and rays. And I don't know if we're gonna see all that kind of stuff. We're gonna see some beautiful corals and more than likely some fish. And if we're lucky, we'll see the other things I mentioned. So that was fun. Julie had fun. The kids had fun. I had fun. I highly recommend doing a snorkeling trip while you're down here. I mean, whether you go all the way to Cozumel, and that's like an all-day thing, and it's a few hundred dollars, it's it's expensive. Um, or if you do, there's another one here at the resort that's um, also an all-day one that they drive you out somewhere. This one here, they just take you out right here at the boat, uh, right at the beach, uh, here at Nizuk, in between Nizuk and Sunrise. They take you out. It's a 10, maybe 15 minute drive, right, or not drive, boat ride, right to the spot. And then you uh, snorkel there for about 45 minutes to an hour, see all the interesting things and fun things. And then you come back. So it's the least expensive one, and it's also the shortest one. So if you just want a quick snorkeling trip and get it out of your system and you still have the whole entire day, it's really, at the end of the day, it's like two hours, not even. Get it out of your system and you do some snorkeling and you get back to your activities during the day this is the one I recommend. It's right at the jet, uh, I think it's called the Jetpack Hut or Jetpack Adventures. Thank you. Sorry, Look at that. So if you find the groundskeepers here, they'll give you a coconut. <laughs> And uh, they'll chop it up with that little machete right there, and they'll they'll do it all. Gracias, senor. That's it there, all done. You want to take a sip? Me? Crimson is. How is it? Fresh. So we were a little sunned out, uh, beached out, or pooled out. So we decided no. to go for a bike ride. They actually rent bikes here. It's all part of the all-inclusive package, and we can get bikes. So Abby's got a bike. As you can see, Julie's got a bike. Quentin's got a bike over there, and we're going for a bike ride. So apparently the 
these are like Mexican egg eaters. There's a name for it, but I forget what they're called. But uh, they're basically Mexican ant eaters, and there's like dozens of them here. There's a deer right there. Over there. Look at the iguana. Look at the squirrel. There's one back here, Dad. Yeah, and there's a deer right in front of us. Yeah. Hi, deer. I didn't Don't do anything to scare him. Yeah, Quentin. So, what are we doing here? What's the stretch? Here I have a bocce and a Momo. Momo, yeah. What are we doing here? You remember the name of the place? Or what kind of food it is? Tabanaki. So one of the big things is that they're very serious here about allergies. And uh, when I first checked in, they asked if we had any food allergies, and I said I'm allergic to avocado, because I really am. It's mild allergic reaction. I mean, I don't die or anything. Anyways, every time you go for lunch, breakfast, dinner, they ask you, or actually they don't even ask you, they ask you your room number, and then they have it on file that you're allergic to avocado. So we're here at the Tabernaki, and they made me personalized non-avocado sushi rolls. Pretty cool. So the other good thing about this resort, I mean, I get it, it's 2023, so a lot of resorts probably have this, but this resort has incredible Wi-Fi in the entire resort, all the way down to the beach. I could go right now, right now, I'm not going to, but I could go all the way down to the beach, down by the water, and you'll get perfect Wi-Fi signal. All the way in the restaurant, which of course, there's gonna be, not like you should be on your phone when you're eating anyways, to, the, to our rooms, our rooms are perfect Wi-Fi. So this what, compound, I guess I should call it compound. There's no other way of describing it. It's so huge. It's huge, but remember, it's three different places. They have designated areas where you stand, uh, like bus stops, where the golf carts will pick you up and take you to different places. They're designated. And it's a very fine, intricate network of places where it'll, certain golf carts will go, and they're all color-coded, and um, they go from A, B, C, D, E, F, <laughs> and they have different routes. But if you're walking like we're walking down the path here and you see a golf cart, it doesn't have to be a designated spot for, to pick you up. They'll pick you up anywhere. So you just be nice or they'll be nice and uh, they'll stop and say, where are you going? You tell them. And if they can take you, they'll take you. Here's a perfect example. The beach. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to leave, but we can't stay. <laughs> so, this is the last night, of course. Tomorrow, later tomorrow, we take off and we go back home. This is our last night in Cancun. Did everyone have a good time? Yes. Yes? Yep. Yes? Yes. Will we come back here again? Yes. For sure? Yes. Okay. Well, we're not the right building, so. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this is not where he did I know. We got filming and just walking. started oh, walking. Turn, right? yeah. yeah, we could, but that's a long way. So that's the end of another uh, 
awesome awesome trip folks thanks for watching like i said earlier you know just because it's uh, outdoor connects doesn't mean we go camping all the time i'd say 80 or 90 percent of the channel is camping but then you have 10 20 percent of a surprise like this uh and it makes it interesting thanks for watching folks we'll catch you on the next one take care bye, -bye. So, there was <laughs> the show show's canceled there was supposed to be a fire show down at the beach today. but it's okay because kevin said it's boring and we trust kevin oh you can't say that oh snap kevin's gonna get fired now oh, yeah it's over <laughs> then you're